welcome back so the next topic in our sap learning is the difference between sap ecc and s for hana so both sap ecc and s for hana are the product of sap only so here the sap ecc stands for erp central component which is the old product of sap and the s for hana it is sap business suit for sap hana where this hana stands for high performance analytic appliance see both the product are of sap as we know some like take example of iphone first the company launched the iphone like 9 10 okay after that they do some innovation and they launched the new iphone as iphone 11 iphone 12 like that so in the same way sap ecc is the old product based on the customer feedback and the continuous innovation of the sap development team they did a lot of modification lot of improvement in their product and in 2015 they launched the new product known as the sap s for hana so let's some of the major difference in the ecc and in the s for hana system so the very first difference is at the database level so in the ecc ecc can be installed on any database like db2 oracle ibm informix etc but using this as user was facing the performance issue some of the reports were taking lot of time to run if some company they have like huge amount of data and if you are making some analytical report to do the analysis of life like to year to year on data the system takes lot of time okay so to solve the performance issue majorly in the s for hana sap has used hana db in sap s for hana there is only one db is possible that is known as the hana db hana database so what is the hana database it is a multi model database that is stores the data in its memory instead of keeping on its disk so here you can see in this diagram so in case of hana the data is directly stored in the ram okay instead of disk so when we are processing the data we are accessing the data so reading from ram is very very fast okay compared to the old disk concept so this is a major major change in the ecc versus s for hana hana db here is a game changer okay hana db is a game changer from the performance point of view now let's see the next difference so to access the ecc system to access the ecc server from our local laptop or machine first we need to install the sap logon that is called as sap gui graphical user interface in our local machine then through this sap logon pad we are able to access the ecc server okay so in the s for hana still we can use the same feature but along with this there is one new interface that is known as the sap fiori so sap fiori is a web based interface and this means that as this is web based so we can access from any device we can access it from mobile laptop desktop any other device we can access this web based application because for the gui first we need to install this in our machine right but is a web based so we have a url that is an url we need to call so we can call from anywhere okay we can have a colorful screen we can like adjust those are known as a tiles each application we call as a tile okay so we can make our home screen customize we can add a graphics we can make the look and feel very attractive so this is the second major change in the s for hana that is a fiori interface the next one i want to explain is at the simplified business process 
So in the ECC, if you're already working in SAP, you know that there is a transition code different for customer and vendors. Like XD01, we can use for the customer and vendor for SK01. As this is a beginner level course, so once you like you start working on the ECC and HANA, you will know what is this customer and vendor. Okay, so in ECC, we have separate transition codes for customer and vendors. Whereas in the HANA, there's a single code that is called as a BP, business partner. So whether it is a customer, vendor, organization, employee, for all, we need to create a business partner. Okay, and there are some default type like general data, address, etc. are there. And to the business partners, we can assign a customer role, a vendor role, or any other role based on the requirement. But by default, here we need to create the business partner. Okay. The next change is like at the simplified data model. They have introduced some new table like in the MM area, Mad Dog, in the finance side, Acidoka. Okay. I like this in sales area also some table they have changed like the for the pricing table, etc. They have modified. Okay, so one more important change in the ECC and, and the S for HANA. So the ECC is available only in on-premises version. This means that that ECC software, we need to purchase the physical hardware. Either you can purchase or you can take on a rent from the service provider. And we need to install in a physical server that is called as on-premise. That on-premise server, either we can keep in our own office or in the service provider location. But for the ECC, so only one solution that is on-premise is there. Whereas in the S for HANA, we have both the options available. Either we can go for the on-premise, means we can install the S for HANA system in our own server. Or instead of that physical server, we can go with the on cloud addition. There are some limitations in case of enhancement and all that we learn in our training. Okay, so in on cloud, some limitations in case of flexibility. But the advantage, like we don't need to purchase the server because HARA servers are very, very costly, right? So in the S for HANA, this is also can call as one of the major change along with the on-premises we also have the on-cloud addition in the S4 HANA and as a technical consultant there's a code push down concept is there which we can use in the S4 HANA system this will be too early for a beginner like what is code push down in all but just for knowledge I will explain in ECC there's a tree tile layer like the database, application server, and the GUI. So whenever you want to select any data from the database system, and if you want to perform some calculation, then after selecting data from the database system, at the application server layer, you have to perform all the calculations. So which makes the system performance slow. And after performing all the calculation, we can see the data at the GUI level. But in S4 HANA, we can do that all calculations at the database level only. Okay, we can perform all the calculation at the database layer. So this is called as a code push down concepts. Okay, so those are some major difference in the ECC versus S4 HANA. So as I explained, the two major difference is one is a database, HANA DB, and second is a GUI interface, that is Fiori application. Fine. So with this introduction, that is the difference between ECC and S4HANA, I'm closing this session. Thank you.